So, have chronic Epstein Barr virus. Okay, this by itself tells you that your whole immune system is compromised because viruses come into target weak cells. They are attracted to, to weak terrains, lymphatic issues. So you have lymphatic congestion or stagnation. Okay, we gotta move the lymph system. We gotta get the kidneys to filter out waste. Otherwise, these have nowhere to go. Okay, compromised immune system. You see, it's interconnected. If you have a compromised immune system, it means your lymphatic system is not moving, it's stagnant, and your kidneys are not filtering out waste. That's what it means. Okay, heart palpitations. This is your thyroid and adrenals. Okay, you can have um, ad adrenal insufficiency can cause this, but it's usually thyroid. Thyroid controls the heart the heart rate. Also, tachycardia, also heart rate, it's thyroid and adrenals, okay? Neuropathy, adrenals, there's mucus in the head region because when, whenever you have a nervous system issue, it's always going to be three locations, the adrenals, the solar plexus, and the cerebellum, or the back of the head. So there's mucus and acids affecting these glands. So you have nervous system weakness. See, adrenaline surges. Again, adrenal weakness. It could be pituitary gland as well. We have to check that, okay? Endocrine weakness. Fatigue is your adrenals. Muscle um, twitching is going to be a, a mostly adrenals because adrenals deal, deal in mineral utilization. And when you have twitching, it can be an imbalance of, of, of minerals. Okay, electrolytes are not balanced. And it can also be a parathyroid because that deals with calcium utilization. So we got to fix those. Insomnia is your pineal gland. Again, pointing to the endocrine glands. And mucus in the head region. Now, when you have mucus in the head region, it's going to affect the, the, the glands. Muscle fatigue and pain. It's the nervous system again. Again, you got to work on the adrenals. You got to work on the bowels. You got to work on the, on the cerebellum. Mucus in the head region affecting it. Okay, we got to clean it up. Foot fungus. Again, it's your adrenals. Okay, and fungus. So, foot fungus. It's going to be your adrenals again. When your, your adrenals can't um, metabolize sh sugars, okay, the fungus come in to break down the sugars. So, we need to address um, the, the foot fungus. That's why it's also not a good idea to have complex carbohydrates in your diet, okay? Forget the simple sugars. It's complex carbohydrates. Your adrenals can't break it down. It leads to uh, fungus. Okay, so work on your adrenals and use antimicrobial tincture to fight the fungus. Sensitivity to electromagnetic energy, uh, energy, okay, frequencies. Again, your nervous system is weak, which means your adrenals, your bowels, and the cerebellum on the back of the head. There's mucus affecting it. Anxiety, adrenals. Chronic inflammation, adrenals, kidneys, and your lymphatic system. Your whole body is compromised instead of acidosis. Shortness of breath, adrenals in your lungs. Okay, you can see the adrenals are coming everywhere as adrenals. You have, your adrenals are crashing. Um, chronic in infections, it's, it's acidosis. When your your body is full of uh, mucus and acids, it it will encourage infections because pathogens come in. And it's easy for, for viruses, easy for bacteria, easy for fungus to stick around. When your lymph system is not moving, immune system, and when your kidneys are not filtering, and when your body is in a state of acidity, acidosis. Nerve pain is a nervous system again. Okay, we gotta work on the adrenals. You gotta work on the on the. The, the mucus in the head region, the cerebellum, and the bowels. Okay, it's also a kidney issue because you're not draining acids out, metabolic waste. Now you mentioned that um, your diet. Okay, that you, you don't you stay away from fruits because fruits seem to aggravate anxiety and nerves, and rightfully so because the fruits are going to stir up acids and going to try to clean up the whole terrain. So the diet the diet you're following right now, mostly vegetables, is good, but I'm presuming it's cooked, so it's not so good. Um, and it's uh, he healthy fats. You don't need fats in your system at this point because fats are complex chemistry, hard to digest, and it's not going to cleanse your body. You th this, this mentality here is treating mentality. You want to get to the root cause. You said zero sugars, uh, zero carbs. This is bad because all cells need energy. You need carbon and oxygen. You need carbon and oxygen to feed a cell. You can't feed a cell with protein. Okay? So this is very, very bad. Um, avocados. Again, this is a fruit, but it's f a fatty fruit. So whilst it's healthy, it's also uh, hard to digest. So it's not the best food to be using on a healing when you're trying to heal. Cook coconut oils, not good to be using because raw coconut flesh and, and, the, and the water is fantastic for you. But uh, when you're cooking it, not good. Okay? Or when you, even when you're eating it raw, not good because it's complex chemistry. Red meat, definitely not be using that because the red meat affects your adrenals. Red meat it causes the mucus and acids that will cause this in the first place, the acidosis. It's red meat that should be avoided. So the reason why the fruits I mentioned that you can't tolerate fruits is because the fruits are um, high energy foods that start to clean up the mucus and acids and you have a healing crisis and the healing crisis is what you're experiencing, a sensitivity. So what I would do if it were me and if you can't tolerate the fruits right now is that I would use green drinks 
and the herbs I'll soon suggest to you for a few weeks. And you will notice that as you get better, you can move on to the fruits, proving to you that once um, the cleanse has begun, the herbs are doing their work and the, 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 the raw v uh, veggies and all the green drinks are allowing some kind of cleansing action. You can move to the fruits and to, then we can use the fruits for a faster cleanse with the herbs. So when you have um, chronic Epstein-Barr virus, I will be using an antimicrobial tincture on our website, the Parasite C um, tincture and the worms, um, Parasite W for worms. Okay. Um, for to compromise the immune system, you need herbs for the kidneys, the adrenals and the lymphatic system. For the heart palpitations, uh, you need herbs for the adrenals and thyroid. Okay. Same here, herbs for the thyroid and adrenals. Okay. Neuropathy, you need herbs for the adrenals, herbs for the bowels and herbs for um, cl cleansing the head of mucus. So you'd want to um, use a, herbs called, uh, a tincture called circulation the herb, the tincture one and neurological tincture one, okay? The neurological tincture is for, uh, for the brain and nerves, very important. But for the uh, mucus in the head region, you need to clean your sinuses, you need to clean your bowels, very, very important, okay? And I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. Again, adrenaline surges, I would use an adrenal glandular and adrenal herbs, tincture. Fatigue, I'll use an adrenal glandular and again, adrenal herbs. This applies for the mu muscle twitching as well. Applies for the insomnia, I would use, if you can't, currently can't sleep properly, use a sleep tincture on our website, okay? But you might need a pineal glandular or the endocrine herbs to help you. Muscle fatigue and pain, again, we're addressing the adrenals, the bowels, we're addressing the um, mucus and head regions, so um, the neurological tincture and the um, circ circ circulation one tincture as well. So when it comes to sensitivity of electromagnetic um, frequencies against your nervous system, you gotta work on the adrenals, the bowels, and the um, cerebellum. Okay, very important. Because this is where the nerve centers are, are located. Anxiety, herbs for the adrenals, maybe adrenal glandular. Chronic inflammation, you need to work for, um, for on the kidneys, the lymphatic system, the adrenals. B12 malabsorption, you gotta clean the small intestines. So we gotta use the bowel cleanser and the bowel strength tincture. Shortness of breath. You want to um, work on the adrenals and the lungs, okay? Chronic infections, again, is acidosis. And it's due to the fact that your lymphatic system is attracting these um, pathogens. Okay, so we use antimicrobial tincture and herbs for the um, lymphatic system, adrenals and kidneys. Nerve pain, again, is the nervous system. So if we need herbs for the adrenals, um, the kidneys. The, the head region, mucus in the head region to clean it, and the bowels, okay? Now, and I'll use um, green drinks, okay? For a while, plus the herbs, I will, I will detail to you, okay? So, um, and give it a little bit of time, maybe a few weeks, and then move on to the sub-acid fruits, like the pears and the apples, okay, and the grapes. And you see, you're gonna get great results as you start um, picking up the adrenals and cleansing the body of mucus and acids. Everything will come back on the line, okay? The fruits are needed because fruits are very, um, high uh, energy and it's kind of like sparks the whole nervous system especially the berries okay but since you can't tolerate it right now we're going to use the green drinks and going to work our way up to the fruits okay so the herbs i would use first we change the diet that's number one okay always change the diet so i'll use green drinks okay and um, for a few weeks green drinks can be um cucumber celery you juice it and add any dark green vegetables in there you can add some apples in there for sweet the sweet taste okay but it's not what you what you would use to, to help start the process. And you need the following herbs, thyroid calm, okay? The tincture on our website, adrenal glandular, an adrenal tincture, it's called glands A, um, bowel strength tincture, to help move the bowels and clean the bowels. Bowel cleanser to help clean the mucus plaque in the small intestines, okay? Good night's sleep to help you get some sleep. I'll use it, you know, before I go to bed, 30 minutes before I bed. Lymphatic one to move the lymph system, okay? Since we're not using the fruit diet right now, we need, especially we need this, so lymphatic one. Um, kidney 6T to help get kidney filtration. You need to use a kidney flush tincture. It's very important to have the kidneys. We need kidney filtration here. Respiratory tincture for the lungs and the Fabulous 5 to cover up the whole body. Okay. And I would use a glands E as well for the endocrine uh, glands okay, to cover it all. Endocrine gland, glands. Okay. And I would also use the antimicrobial tincture. Okay to fight fungus, bacteria, parasite C is very, very strong, um, for especially for like fungus and bacteria. And I'll add for worms, deworming, you need the parasite W, okay? I'll add that to this as well. 
So I would add the secretary one tincture and neurological tincture. Why? Because you need blood flow to the head region. Remember that the, the cerebellum in the back of the head houses nerves for the nervous system. It has been good working order. The and neurological one is for brain and nerves. Okay, we gotta move the mucus in the head region. This is done by cleaning your sinuses, clean your nose, um, do ear candling, eye washes, use a nutty pot with eucalyptus oil. Okay, you want a two horseradish root. Anything you can do to break the mucus in the sinuses in the head region. You want to clean the gut as well, which we are using with the herbs, the bowel strength tincture and the bowel cleanser, because um, they also house the nerves, the solar plexus, okay? Very important to clean that as well. And of course, give it time. A few weeks on the green um, green drinks and raw um, veggies, salad, etc. Majority should be green drinks and a bit of the salads, is okay? With these herbs. And then in time, a few weeks, you're going to move on to the sub-acid fruits, Okay, Th these are the berries, very, very important for, for the nervous system. Uh, use f berries and uh, grapes are gr a good berry to use. Grapes and um, apples, pears, these are sub-acid. And then after a few weeks in these, you know what, maybe two weeks, then if you can tolerate, we move to um, pal the more aggressive fruits. These are the melons. Um, or use grapes, they're fantastic still. And um, citrus fruits, okay? These are the oranges, grapefruit, and lemon, limes, okay? And give it a bit of time. That's how I would rectify it if it's me.